So somehow I managed to get my hands on the original Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2. Wow, I haven't heard that sound in ages. Oh, here we go. Hello there. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> oh boy. I, I'm playing with a D-pad right now. So I'm playing the Enhanced Edition, which is a remaster for PC. What's going on in this town? Hold on. Hold on. No, Kendo! Ah! Alright, I think if you step outside and then step back in, you can get the shotgun. If I remember correctly. Oh, come on, shut up. Oh, here we go. He has stopped breathing. Oh! Dude. Okay, now that I've been grabbed a million times... Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh my god, these camera angles. There we go. <laughs> so, I usually never get grabbed until this part. This is usually the part where I always get got grabbed as a kid. That, sound, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? See, I almost did it without having sh shot him, ha without taking damage. I think if you do it without taking damage, you can fight uh, Brad, I think. The zombie Brad down here. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I think you can find Brad down here. But yeah, he's not here. Damn it. Or maybe if you don't fire your gun. Is it, it's it's either you don't pick up anything or if you if you don't fire your gun or if you don't take damage. There we go, man, so iconic. We're about to hear the most iconic song of all time. There it is, the main hall. Doo -doo -doo. Look at this. Ugh. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella <laughs> was behind everything. Ah. Uh. Man, it, it it fills me with joy playing this game. And I'm not even good at it because it's been like decades. All right, so I'm going to store these things. I don't think I'll need a shotgun, to be honest with you. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this view, man. All right, you ready for the most amazing cutscene ever? like oh boy so i guess if you play a range mode you find other items not entirely sure i'm just gonna man i should have brought my shotgun oh nice okay i'm going up <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, isn't this where you change for costumes? A special kind of key is required. Yep. The locker key. It would have been cool if they brought that back in the remake, but I understand why. We needed modernized ways of changing our costume. Something is written on the mount. Uh, the god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red, red soul. <laughs> okay, so, so I think in this one you only get the unicorn medallion. I think that's the only medallion that you get. So interesting that this one has you get a lot of gems. Love that sound. I should probably put my shotgun away. The star's office. Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know 
for certain that Umbrella contacted T-Virus Research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie, but the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any inc incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research of the, on the new G-Virus, a variation of the originated, original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put, their, put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. So interesting. So Jill and Barry and Chris all went to the Code Veronica facility, but only Claire got caught. But only, uh, oh, right. Yeah, because Claire went, read this diary and yeah, that's where she goes. Oh, why didn't he have the, the unicorn medal? Interesting. Claire. Leon. It's good to see you're still among the living. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. <laughs> that way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Yes. Let's see if you can get a first aid spray from Rebecca. Yep. Love it. There are various devices. This must be where they gathered information. Oh, look, I got a shotgun. <laughs> um, isn't there a chance of getting the Magnum here? I think so, right? That's awesome. Hey, look, it's Jill. Jill, Brad, Wesker, Barry, Enrico, Kenneth. Oh, there's something behind the thing. Oh, of course. Look at all their medals. So I guess this is um, this is Wesker's desk, the one in the middle. Okay, to end this video, I want to grab it again. This. I just wanted, I just wanted to hear that. So it takes about seven to eight bullets to take out any zombie. Yeah, you, I, you really don't need the shotgun in this in this particular situation, but. I just wanted to use it. Anyway, it's been fun revisiting this video game. Let me know if you guys want to see more. If you want to see a full playthrough, I'll make sure to upload that if you guys want to see that. But uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about this game. Uh, honestly, I want to know what game did you start with. I want to know what Resident Evil game did you start with. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.